Fair Park as well. We are there live this morning. We're going to bring you the very latest on the Red River Showdown. We have Brandon Hamilton there live for us. So who are you rooting for, Texas or OU? Show us. Tell us. Use the hashtag I am up. And for those of you who are up in Ponder, the colony, Garland, and all of North Texas, good morning to you. You're watching News A Daybreak. Oh, yes. Good morning to you. We are getting ready for the Red River Showdown. We've got the Longhorn Singers and the Sooner Singers in the house. We will chat about this big game at the Cotton Bowl coming up on Daybreak. The big game between the University of Texas and the Oklahoma Sooners is tomorrow, but we're getting a head start on the fun this morning at Fair Park. That's where we've moved our weekly party on the plaza, and Daybreak's Brandon Hamilton is standing by with some pretty diehard fans from both sides of the river, huh, Brandon? That's right. Good morning to you. Check it out. We've got the Longhorn Sooners, and we've got the Singing Sooners. Now, I've got one question to ask. I'm going to ask them first. Who's going to win this game tomorrow? Who do you think is going to win the game tomorrow? Oh, yeah! It's split down the middle, and I'm going to have to split these two down the middle. No arguing here. We've got Jerry Petoniak, the president of the OU Club of Dallas. And we also have Matt Garcia, the president of the Texas X's of Dallas. What does this game mean to you? Well, despite the pageantry and all of the, the singers and so forth here, what it really means to the alumni of Oklahoma and the alumni of Dallas is we have an opportunity to raise a large amount of money to send 15 to 20 students from the Dallas area to the University of Oklahoma on full scholarship. Wow, that's amazing. And for you guys, 90th anniversary of your group. Absolutely. This is the 90th year of the Texas Exodus Dallas chapter. And that's 90 years of alumni engagement, 90 years of raising funds to send Dallas area high school students to the University of Texas. Oh, that's amazing. All right, real quick, stubby cinnamon rolls, hooking it up for all these fans out here and these singers. But we're going to do a little singing for you guys again. The game is tomorrow, 11 a.m. inside the Cotton Bowl. The Longhorn Singers, take it away. indeed and showing up there um, at Fair Park this morning we want to thank them and they'll be joining us here as well check in on our party at the plaza they're getting their groove on over there with Brandon Hamilton so are you rooting for Texas or are you gotta let us know use that hashtag I am up good morning Carrollton Mansfield and all of North Texas you are watching News 8 Daybreak we're back here in just a moment show us who you're rooting for <laughs> Look at those dance moves, Ron. Oh, white boys can dance. Uh, use the hashtag. I am up. Jared, Jared, our director, says this is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> He's Someone's working it. <laughs> well, I heard himself. Oh, he's twerking. Yeah, we've yeah. got a twerker on the loose. Oh, yeah. Brandon. Oh, yeah. Hey, good morning. We are ready for a showdown, right? We're taking on Texas and Oklahoma tomorrow at the Cotton Bowl. We'll talk details of this game and have a little sing-off coming up on Daybreak. We've moved our party on the plaza to Fair Park, and that's where we find Daybreak's Brandon Hamilton with quite the lively crowd, Brandon. Yes, good morning to you. I think we're ready for the Red River Showdown, right? We've got the Longhorn Singers right here, and we've got the Singing Sooners over here. It's getting rowdy in here. This game kicks off tomorrow at 11 a.m. at the Cotton Bowl. 92,500 fans will pack the historic stadium. It's the 111th matchup between Texas and OU. 88th time they played here in Dallas. Who's going to win tomorrow? Texas! Who's going to win tomorrow? OU! Oh, we're still split right down the middle. I want to point this out real quick. Stubby cinnamon rolls hooking us up this morning. But we're going to have a little sing-off for you. We're going to start with the singing Sooners. Take it away.
Uh, that was pretty Did good. You hear that now, we don't want we don't want to cut them off. It. Look at you. I'm still hearing them in my ear. Um, it's for you to decide. You vote, will you? Maybe I'll do a Twitter poll. Go to Facebook or Twitter. Let us know which team, which team's singers do you like the best. Right.